everybody. Welcome to Caesar Snack Sandwich. Today we're going to take a look at Pancake Swap. Pancake Swap is a uh, meme style yield farming uh, platform on the Binance Smart Chain. So if you don't have it already, you had better have your MetaMask set up to the Binance Smart Chain. Um, lots of videos out there to do that. I don't have a video to do this, but you can look it up. You need to you need to go to custom and you need to find out all this information to put it in. And uh, so the first thing you'll have to do is the native token on the Binance Smart Chain is the BNB, the Binance token. So how do you get BNB into your Binance Smart Wallet? Before you can use PancakeSwap, you need to have BNB on your, smart, uh, your Binance Smart Chain Wallet. So you go over to Binance, you get some BNB. I've got all my other stuff all parked away inside uh, the, um, the savings and stuff. But I've got some here. Uh, I'm not going to actually send it because it's very little. But you would go to withdraw. Um, of course, you'd have your withdrawal address from your MetaMask, right? So you would come up here, click that, copy that, and place that into here. And you would check down here, Binance Smart Chain, BEP20. So I'll click that. And then how much you would like, let's say max or whatever, and submit this. So I'm not going to do this right now because it's so little amount of BNB that it's not quite worth it. And I don't need this BNB into that smart wallet. So you would have to wait a little bit and then eventually it would show up inside your MetaMask that is connected to the Binance Smart Chain. Um, over to Pancake Swap. So what is Pancake Swap? Pancake Swap is a yield farming platform with an exchange and several yield farming things so you would go to well let's go first to this to the farms here are the farms that are currently available um, as you can see like most uh, dgen farms this is the biggest one that uses the native cake token the token of the pancake swap exchange um, you can choose any of these other ones the yields are pretty high now they're paying out in of course cake tokens so you can go through these find the one that you like um, and then go to the exchange now the exchange is obviously a copy of uniswap you would go to pool add liquidity and choose the two tokens that you are willing to swap 50 50 put into the liquidity pool right so so let's say I obviously can't do that let's say i would do and uh, let's say one cake. Now I don't have more than one, so let's maybe 0.5. And then this would then give you a, when you of course do this, it would give you a liquidity, uh, a liquidity pool token that you can then take, it would put it straight into your wallet, of course. Then you would then come over to the farms. Now I use this purely because it's for fun. Uh, I do it for fun. I'm not really trying to make tons of money here, and I'm not risking a whole lot. Like one BNB is like $23, I think, something right now, close to $23, $24. So you don't, uh, I, but the transactions are very cheap on the Binance Smart Chain. So you can come here to learn how yield farming works before you try to use it on the Ethereum network at some of the, the Ethereum ones. So um, let's unlock my wallet. And you can see, let's say I had decided to stake here, which I have. Um, I staked my coins in here, and then I started earning some cake. Now, to give you an example, if I wanted to then harvest this cake, I would click it, and the Binance MetaMask would open up. And you can see how cheap it is, actually, to harvest and to use this platform. Now, this is BNB, of course, not Ethereum but uh, still insanely cheap. So I would then confirm. So that's me harvesting my cake for supplying my LP tokens. My, they call them flip tokens, but you know, normally we call them LP tokens. And uh, it's taking a little bit longer than it usually does. Harvested, 51 confirmed. So then what can you do with these cake that you have? You can take your cake over to the uh, staking section and you can add some cake to your stake 
and so I'll just do that again so 2.43 blah 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 cake and again super cheap I don't know if it's actually worth it but anyhow so then you wait again for the confirmations it doesn't take too long um, So the, th the reason why I like this is because it's cheap, right? So now, now I've staked my tokens, my cake tokens here, and I'm earning some more cake based on staking cake tokens. Now this doesn't go up too fast, but it goes up fast enough. And every time you stake or unstake or add to your stake, it automatically harvests the, uh, the cake that you had staked before, or the cake that you had earned. So it would go back into my wallet. So if I were to check my wallet right now, I should have the cake that used to be here. Let's see if I still have cake in my wallet. Yeah, see, there's a little tiny bit. This tiny bit used to be here and now is in my wallet. What is this over here? Syrup. So syrup is when, you, because you've staked your cake into the platform, it has gives you back syrup. Now. I've already harvested most of this, but I've just staked another 2.4 cake into here. There used to be 25 or something, and they've given me, now I currently hold 2.4 syrup. So what do I do with this syrup? Come up to the syrup pool. In the syrup pool, I can stake it in here. So let's just, I could approve this, but I'm just gonna add it to this point here. So. So let me do this first. So again, MetaMask asking me to pay my cents and pennies. And so what is this actually happening in here? So I'm staking my syrup into the platform as well, and I'm earning other tokens. These tokens are launchpad tokens that the protocol has cooperated with. I In the past, I earned this many and they're in my wallet right now uh, i've earned some so you, so you notice it again it yielded the, the ones that it owed me <laughs> they're in my wallet so my twt so now i have 29 of my um syrup stake here now if i wanted to cash out of everything here i would first come into the syrup pool unstake my syrup it would then harvest these then i would go back to staking backwards and I would un I would harvest and unstake my my uh, cake tokens here, and then I would go to farm and I would unstake the liquidity pool, and then I would go back to the exchange again and I would you know leave the liquidity pool as well. So that's pancake swap pretty much. Pancake swap the actual cake token. Of course, it went you know skyrocketing at first like all tokens and then it dropped quite drastically and it floated around and now it's kind of on the rise i think its popularity comes mostly from the the syrup pool idea where they're giving you tokens of other kinds um like uh like all metamask things you know the tokens don't show up in your metamask you'd have to find lp or the actual contract numbers to see these tokens but what i like to do is i just go to the exchange and I just pull down the menu and I can see my balances of TWT, 4.6, my balances of XPS, these are all air swapped. And this one here was just a random airdrop that they gave me because of having, I guess, I don't know, I can't, I don't know why it was there. It's just random giving it to me. Now these, I'm like I said, I'm playing here. I think I put a total of like 100 US dollars um, into the liquidity pool you know, 50 cake, 50 BNB, &B, and then I still have, you know, 20, 20 something here. Um, another thing to keep in mind is you want to keep this uh, balance of BNB &B inside your wallet to uh, a relatively high amount of more than one. I find more than one is pretty safe because sometimes when they quote you the price, if you don't have enough BNB, &B, it'll actually quote you a much higher price than you, sh than you need to pay. So you got to kind of keep this up. So for example, let me see if I go to staking and I oh, unlock this. Now let's go back to the one I have unlocked already. Let's say I go to... Let's say I were to unstake this syrup. Confirm. 
So you see it says 20 gray. If I didn't have at least this 20, like zero, I think it's like 0 0.5 BNB, then it would it would give me an error message that I have insufficient funds, even though it's only going to cost this much. It's just something you have to keep in mind. Keep a f more than one BNB. Don't pour all your BNB into the pool, and then you won't have enough to pay the fees to cover the, the fees. So that's about it. That's all uh, I really know about pancakes. Oh, one more thing. Um, the Telegram. The Telegram for pancake swap is, you know, it's just pure fun. You know, just tons of memes, tons of people just playing around. You know, there, you can get answers if you have a question, like uh, some sort of technical question. You, you, it's pretty active. Like the. But there's a lot of people playing and it's having fun. It's you know a healthy mix of degen spam and you know people answering your questions. If you ask a question, and you'll get an answer, and you'll also get a ton of ton of other sarcastic remarks. You can just come here and have fun for the most part. And uh, that's about it for PancakeSwap.